Hey everyone, in this video we will add a better looking locked style and we will start to work on the refresh UI after we crafted an item so that we can directly see if we can craft more items. This is a very complicated function so I will split this into two videos. Let's begin. First thing we want to do is go to the crafting folder and open the WB crafting slot. And inside here, we want to have more styles. So duplicate the normal style and call this a locked style. And then duplicate the selected style and call the selected locked style. Then compile, click on the locked style. And here under normal, let's, let's change the tint. So we get a red color like this. We copy the tint and we can now paste it here into the hovered and increase the opacity and do the same for the pressed and increase the hover, uh, the opacity like this. Do the same for the selected locked style. Next, we want to have a new custom event here, which is called a set a locked style. So add this. And then we want to check some things. So first we want to have is locked as boolean, which we will set to true. And then we want to have another one, which is be will be is selected. This will help us to decide which style we will use when we change the style. You will see later why this is important. So now we want to check if the item is currently selected. And then you get just the button and you say set style. So when we want to set the locked style, we need to check if the item is currently selected and has the selected style. And if that's the case, we want to set the select lock style like this. And if it's not the case, so if it's not selected before, we just want to say the normal selected, uh, sorry, the normal locked style, this one. Now we can straight up use this new uh, custom event. Go back to your WB crafting menu and inside here go to the create slot widget. And here after we add the widget, we want to get the player reference. And we want to get the AC inventory. This one. And then we just want to have the can craft function. And for the ingredients, we want to have the current crafting row. So let's get the current crafting row, break it, and then get the ingredients of the current row. And then we just simply check if it's, uh, if we can craft it or not. And if we can't craft it, we can just say here, the custom event we just created set locked style like this. And then we can test it, press play. Oh, I have something wrong. Oh, I forgot to connect the button in here. So make sure you connect both and then we can test. So now when we play, press C, we can see that the other function uh, works and we can't craft any of this item. Now when we click, it doesn't update correctly. So let's fix this. The first thing we want to change here is go to the event graph and find your event clicked on crafting slot where we have the check of the last click slot and if it's valid we set it back to normal. And we want to remove this and we want to have a new function here which we are gonna create. So go back here into your crafting slot and add a custom event. And this one will be set style before click. So when we call this function, we want to set the is selected to false. So for the item 
you must think about it like we changing the item that was clicked uh, before. So that's why we reset the is selected here. And then we will want to check if it's locked or not. The item. And if it's it was locked, selected, we want to set like here. You can copy and paste it. But instead, we want to have here at the top the normal style because we don't have a selected anymore. We uh, unselect here. Back here, we can now set style before click like this. Okay, and then we can now do the last part, which is changing the set normal style and the set selected style. So for the set normal style, we want to set locked to false like this. When we force the item to be normal style, we yeah, remove the locked. And then for the set selected, we want to set the selected to true. So we do the opposite of what we do, did here. And then we check if it's locked or not. We we'll get an if branch. And then let's bring this here, copy paste. Get the button. Get the button down here. And here at the top we want to have the selected style, uh, selected locked style. And here on the faults, we want to have the normal selected style which is already there. So leave it as it is. Compile, save, compile and save. And then we can test. Play and press C. Click on an item, click on another item and oh, it didn't work. So let's check. That style before clicked should be is locked true. And oh, I need to change those here. So when we want to have is or when we have is locked we want to set of course locked style and if not then we want to set normal now it should work you can click here let's pick some items up and now we can also click on different items and it will always show the correct color and i also want to change the locked style a little bit I will give it more opacity here in normal state and in the other states. And yeah, I like this more. Make sure to also copy this uh, new style to the selected locked style. After this, we can now work on the refresh when we craft an item. So uh, let's go back to the ingredient view where we click on the crafting. And after we clicked on crafting, we want to refresh the UI. So in here, we want a reference to the crafting menu. So we call this crafting menu ref. And this will be from type WB crafting menu like this. And then we just pull it in here and we want to find the interface, which is called BI crafting. This is inside the crafting menu. And here we want to have a new function, which is called refresh uh, UI after crafting. Save it, go to the crafting menu, compile and then go to the ingredients view and from the crafting menu you can just search for the refresh UI after crafting message. So we call the crafting menu to refresh the whole UI. But before this works, click on the crafting menu and make sure that it's instant editable and expose and spawn. And then compile and save and go back to the crafting menu. Inside here under the event construct, get the ingredients view which is here already and we want to set the crafting menu reference this one 
and we put in ourselves like this now the ingredients you can call us and also make sure that the bi crafting is refreshed like so and then you can just search for event to refresh ui after crafting and we will fire this event and from that we get a function which is refresh ui after crafting like this and we can just plug this in and combine them this function is very complicated but i try my best to explain everything and to comment everything if you have any questions you can join my discord and ask them there i try to answer so the first thing we want to do is to get the container the wb crafting this one and we want to get all the children and from all the children we want to have a for each loop so we go to all the children and here we cast to the crafting slot so inside here in in the crafting items container we have a lot of crafting slots and we want to check for every of the slots if we have to yeah refresh the ui then promote this one to a local variable called current crafting slot this will be the one we are currently watching and then go to sequence like this now the first thing we want to check is if the current item that we clicked and the item of the list is the same and if so we want to check if we can craft it still so get in the current crafting slot uh, get the crafting item break it then resolve to soft reference and then get the defaults and from the name we want to make equal exactly and what do we want to check we want to check if the selected crafting item this one here is the same so you can just copy and paste oh no it doesn't work so just uh, do it again like this plug this in and now you can just hide all the not necessary pits And here, if they are equal, we want to do something. We'll get some space in here. And inside here, we want to have the player rep now and get the AC inventory. And then check for can craft. So if it's the same item, we want to uh, check if we can still craft it. So from the current uh, item here, enable the ingredients again put them in here and we check if we can craft this item or not then again into a nif and if we can craft this item we get the current slot which we are looping through to so get the current slot and we want to set normal style and if we can't craft we want to set the locked style like this and then after we set the locked and the normal style, we just get in the WB ingredients view and we check for can craft. So we set to red and then we also have to set it to the locked icon so that we can't click the button anymore. Compile and save. And now you can see what it does. Pick some items up. And if you click here and craft, you remember before it, it didn't do anything. And now it locks the button and shows the red image. Now let's go in the check for can craft and let's rename this parameter to ingredients. And for the last part of this video, let's rearrange everything so that it looks a little bit better. something like this get this out and now we can put this all in a straight line like this 
and then you can just comment it call this something like a refresh selected item that's it for this video in the next one we will continue to work on the ui refresh we still need to refresh all the items with the same ingredients as the item we crafted and also we have to refresh the items that have our crafted item as an ingredient. That's why this method is so complicated and it takes so long. So yeah, I will split this into two parts. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.